Welcome, everybody. We're thrilled that you've made it, that you found us. My name is Jay Bassell. I'm the Director of Marketing or Marketing Director or the guy who does marketing at Equipment Zone. Thrilled to be your host. I have an amazing guest, happens to be a friend of mine and a co-worker, Terry Combs. Terry, how are you today? I'm doing great, Jay. You're apparently all things marketing, I see. Uh, I'm trying to be. I've got, I've got my <laughs> other side. I've got my branding on. I've got the background on. And really, truth be told, I'm just thrilled to be here with you because you are the expert. And this is a new series. I'm excited about this. I think it's going to be exciting to, to take one question uh, a couple of times a week and just answer that question in depth. And uh, I'm excited to get started. Well, I am too. And this is the new series, Ask the DTG Expert. Terry Combs, you qualify in more ways than one. And uh, hopefully you'll be joining us back here in just a second because your video dropped off. So I am definitely not the expert. There you are. You're back. You gave me a little panic, but you know, Some, what someone tried to call and it knocked my video out. I'm not sure. <laughs> You're that much of an expert. You're that much in demand. Um, so as we previously have explained, this is a series where we're going to focus in, just like you said, on one topic. And we're trying to take the questions that we get most often when we're asked at a trade show, right, Terry? Is that is that a fair setup? Exactly right. And and because we do get uh, a lot of the same questions, and and we are happy to answer those questions for anybody that comes by because uh, everybody has a lot of the a lot of similar questions that they need answers to. And so, yeah, we're uh, and it's been a little while since we've uh, stood on that side of the aisle uh, doing a trade show. Jay, I know you've attended a show. I've attended a show, and gosh, the first time for me in probably twenty years that I wasn't actually in a booth uh, at a trade show. But but uh, yeah, I think this is going to be good. And and I don't know if uh, all of our listeners going to be able to get out to a show this year. So that's that's a little bit uh, more of the impetus of this uh, of this series as well. It really is. And it's, it's exciting because we're trying to frame this as, as we previously explained that here's the question that we get asked often, right? The, 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 the normal question, nothing wrong with the question. And then there's also the typical answer that's given. And, and I'm not being disparaging or trying to be mean to anybody, but oftentimes those answers come from a salesperson who may not work for us. Let's just say that because since you're the expert and you're the gifted one, Terry, obviously you are a <laughs> shining example. So you would never do this. However, there are oftentimes salespeople answering these questions and they might get uh, into the land of exaggeration. Um, they may have other motives. Um, they may not tell you the whole story. And so we thought we should have those same questions, but then flip it so that Terry can not only answer that question, but help with what you should also be asking and what you should really know. And that's why I think I'm excited about this series, Terry, is because you are a wealth of knowledge. Sorry to be bragging about you and gushing like a fanboy. Um, <laughs> but the reality is, is that this is not your first uh, run around the block, right? We could say that respectfully. I have uh, worked a lot of trade shows. I've been involved in the industry for over 40 years. And uh, DTG, since the very first machine, so what are we we're probably coming up on 17 years now. And and uh, stood inside the booth at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trade shows. So, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And also, I, I just need to I need other people to know this is that when they get to know Terry Combs, they realize that Terry's Terry's an asset who's trying to help you find the right solution, as well as introduce you to new technology that might be a fit. So of course, Terry, you are in sales, but I love the fact that you also are a trainer. You're a teacher. You have a teacher's heart, a servant's mind, and you want to help people, you know, reach the right destination. And so that's why this series is going to be so much fun. So we better dive into it. So the first question, my friend, that we get all the time, which is kind of the start of so many conversations, Terry, how much is this printer? <laughs> exactly. And uh, here's what's going to happen at a trade show. They're going to say something like $14,995, just like the sign says. And if you buy here at the show, uh, we're going to do this for you. And uh, and buying here at the show means you don't have to pay me all the money right now, but you can give me $100,000, $500,000 uh, on your credit card to, <laughs> so yeah. that when you walk around all the other booths, you say, oh, I already bought one. <laughs> But uh, right, let me right. let me let me give you a little inside uh, baseball on the, on the, that that offer of if you buy at the show, 
almost everyone holds that deal for you for at least a week after the show, because not everybody's in a position or, you know, sometimes, I mean, this is a big purchase for a lot of people, a big purchase for most people. And so uh, sometimes you need to, you know, take a step back and think about it. So right. uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the person that's, that's going to say to you, but you got to do it now. You got to do it today. So, but, but, you know, Jay, it goes way beyond that too, because when you say how much is that machine, I'm going to come right back to you and say, Hey, tell me a little bit about your business. Uh, right, and and right. let's see if DTG is a good fit for you. And, you know, you and I were talking yesterday about this, Jay, and, and I remember one of the later shows that we did, and we haven't, we haven't done a show since. Well, last, begin yeah, I was just thinking yeah. about that as equipment's on, how long has it been? It's been over a over, year, right? Yeah. Over 15 yeah. months, I think. Right. Wow. So, uh, yeah, and that we were run out of that show. One after one day, you you gotta leave. The, the county has shut us down. <laughs> but uh, but I'm gonna say, you know, I, I, I talked to someone. I said, well, tell me tell me about your business. Are you just getting started? Who's your customer? And I, I distinctly remember someone saying to me, well, uh, I, I I'm gonna uh, be doing baseball uniforms. That's gonna be the bulk of my business. And and I said, well, here's the deal. Most baseball uniforms are polyester. DTG is not the best uh, machine for decorating that type product. C can you do it? Yes. Are there probably better ways to do it? There are. So uh, I, I don't want to sell you a machine and have you come back to me and say, you know, you didn't mention to me that I'm not going to get the best print with this. So, right. um, you know, I'll, I'm going to ask you those types of questions. Terry, that's one of the most important things that I think that we, I, I mean, again, I'm biased, obviously. I, I play for the equipment zone team, so I can't not be biased. But I think that we do our clients a very, uh, a good service in asking the question you just asked, which is, tell me more about your business. Tell me what you're trying to accomplish. Let's see if DTG is a good fit for you. There's not a lot of other organizations that would take the time to ask that kind of qualifying question. So it's a compliment to you, but it's also our style at Equipment Zone. We want to make sure that, yes, we answer the question, what's the price of the printer? But we also want to make sure that we don't omit some of the story strategically and then just sell you the printer, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, it's a big deal. So kudos again to you for asking those deeper questions, trying to find out what the client or future client is trying to, to accomplish. And the reality is this, we, we want to earn your business for the long haul. So this isn't a one and done with equipment zone, right? This is about right, exactly. So if we mislead you from the get go, then how is that building a strong foundation for a strong found uh, for a strong relationship? All right. Exactly. Right. And, and, and you know, Jay, when somebody walks up and does that and says, well, how much is that machine? Uh, you also, as a consumer, need to ask some more questions yourself. Do I, do I need anything else? I mean, right. do I just buy the machine, take it home and plug it in and life's good? Uh, what's in the package? So just asking for the price can be a little bit misleading. And, and you know, there's also a situation where somebody goes, well, I got a quote from XYZ over there. And their price, and it's the same printer, but their price is, is, is cheaper than what you're, you're mm. offering me. And, you know, if you, if you're lucky enough to be able to look at that quote, you can say something like, well, they don't have any pre-treat on here. Do you, you know, you need pre-treat on the first day. Uh, so you, true. You, you don't want to have to go home, put all this together and get on the phone and start ordering things. You, you, I like to put a package together where you can do several hundred shirts before you ever have to order any products. And, and other things like, uh, well, the, the heat press they have on, on your quote here is $300. You, you don't want a $300 heat press. I'm just, oh, yeah. I'm just going to tell you yeah. uh, because it's going to be in your dumpster by the end of the year. <laughs> You're going to have a lot of spoilage. Spoilage for anybody who's not in the industry yet means products I can't sell. <laughs> yeah, no bueno, as we say. No Arizona. bueno, exactly right. So, so, and, and, you know, we run into this all the time. I mean, even, even on our $50,000 DTG printer, uh, someone recently said, you know, XYZ company, uh, their price was a couple of thousand dollars less. 
well, they're, you're not comparing apples and oranges or apples and apples here because right. we're, we're quoting you some additional ink that we feel you're going to need. But if, hey, if you want to take that off to make these the same, but a, a lot of folks just look at that bottom line. So when you're making these comparisons, make sure that you're looking at what am I actually getting here? What am I actually getting here to, yeah. to make a real comparison? And I think you nailed it when you said, what do I actually need to be successful from the get-go? Like you, you talked about, there could be other components to consider. Like you're looking at it from the perspective of, of a friend, a consultant, an advisor, a counselor who wants to see you succeed in the first week, not just a salesman who's checked the box and said, hey, it's the price is X. And and I love that. I love that about your style and, and all of the reps at Equipment Zone because we truly get it that in order to be successful in your business, there are a lot more questions to ask than just what is the price and be careful if that's what you're starting at is just comparing price point A to price point B to price point C because you could easily, unfortunately, be misled. Exactly. And you know, Jay, uh, and when you talk about uh, wanting the, those folks to succeed, uh, just about everybody at Equipment Zone comes from the the production end of this i mean i i ran production screen printing production floors for years and years and years so uh i i used to be that customer who would go in and buy an automatic press or a conveyor dryer and things like that and mm -hmm. and uh when i first got in the business i was not an educated buyer i I had to trust that sales rep who sold me my first manual press and my first dryer and, and my supplies I had to trust that they, they knew um, what I was, what I was going to need. Now, as, as I went on over time, I was an educated buyer. I, 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 I might have known more about it than, than some of the sales reps that I was talking to. And that that's just happens out there in the world. But uh, we have a lot of a production floor experience all throughout equipment zone. It's true. It's true. We do. We have a lot of us have that background in both branded merchandise as well as actual production. Our technicians and uh, you know several of those that are in training are constantly printing. Um, we're troubleshooting. We're trying new techniques. Um, you know, print locations, um, new materials. So it's it's fun for us to kind of be in that know and have that experience rather than just be, well, here's, here's the item number, go to my website and you can just buy it there. You know, I mean, that's not our style. So right. Terry, let me ask you another, I'm going to redirect this a little bit. When, when okay. people say, you know, what is the price? What else should they be thinking about? Because I remember having quite a few laughs when you used to tell the story of the guy who didn't know that he could tip the printer on its side, you know, <laughs> so, so it reminds me of kind of the environment, right? Right, exactly right. And, and <laughs> that, that guy, he was in the back of our classroom. He goes, wait, are you kidding me? <laughs> you can turn that printer on its side. What did he do? <laughs> he, he sealed up his garage. He insulated it. He air conditioned it because he, he was told by the people that sold him his Epson printer that you can't turn it on its side to go through an interior doorway. And and you can obviously do that with ink in it. So anyway, <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, we're not picking on anybody, right? We're just, we're right. Right. Exactly. Are, right. This is part of the experience. This is part of the, the learning, uh, what you need to know besides the price. Right. And, and, you know, a lot of the folks that you talk to out there in the world, they, they may spend 90% of their time selling embroidery equipment and, and, oh, let me run over and talk to this person in front of the, the Epson printer. So nothing against them. Uh, they, they just, don't really necessarily know the machines inside out like 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 we do since uh, direct to garment is a the ma the the massive part of our business. So, right. but but you know yes, when you talk about the environment, uh, direct to garment printers, all direct to garment printers need to be in a controlled environment for the most part. And and I remember talking to uh, to a gentleman one day and and I was explaining this to him at a trade show and he goes, no, no, I'm, I'm putting it out on my production floor. That's where it needs to be. And I said, well, you're not going to be happy. I, I'm just going to tell you right now, you're going to have constant problems. The printer is going to go be going through automatic head cleanings all the time because uh, your humidity level is not going to be right. And, uh, and so I just want to give you a heads up. Hey, I, I will sell you a machine, 
but I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to be satisfied if you have it in an environment that's not conducive direct to direct to garment printing. I don't recall if he bought a machine or not, <laughs> but, uh, but I, I just, he was just so adamant about, no, no, this is how I do things. <laughs> right. Well, listen, as my dad said, you, you have the freedom of choice, but with that choice comes the consequence. Exactly. <laughs> so, you know, to, to that point though, the environment is critical and i and i appreciate that all of our team is aware of that and brings that up in the in the beginning of the conversations when we talk about things like environment humidity where will this be the you know the actual physical place in which you plan on having this those are things that we're trying to help guide our our future customers to make uh to have the best chance for success you know what i mean right right exactly right and you know jay and and along those lines real quick uh I answered an email today from a customer who said, hey, I'm ready for my third machine. Well, you don't buy a third machine from somebody that either misled you, didn't give you all the information on the front end. You go find somebody else to buy that machine from when you, right. when you need right. it. If, if you get to that point, because you, you need all this information to be successful from the start. Well, and if this sounds like we're, we're, we're definitely not trying to, you know, throw shade at any of our of our competitors or our other or other Epson dealers. We're not. We're just saying this is our competitive advantage is it's called our experience. And so we're not we're not going to not talk about that. Um, you know, so when when you think about price, you have to think about location. When you think about price, you have to think about the environment. You have to think about all these other things. And that's what I was so excited to talk to you about because what, even simple things like moving the printer, you know, we joked about it, but how many times, Terry, have we heard, well, that's not what my, and, and these are people who own the Epson F2100. Well, that's not what the guy, the guy who sold it to me didn't tell me that. It's like, <laughs> so you're upset at us because, wait, what? <laughs> it, it wasn't me, right? It wasn't me that sold you that. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but we shouldn't joke about it because it can be really frustrating. And and truth is, that's the point of the series of this of these ask the DTG expert, ask Terry. Because if you're planning on these types of things, um, we want to be your partner in that plan. We want to we want to talk about where it can be moved and the humidity levels and what you're going to need in addition to just the printer. So, well, you know, Jay and I, you and I are are writing an article right now for Impressions Magazine on on. Um, uh, printing uh, on demand and printing on location. And, and that's coming back again. And, and, you know, there are a lot of folks who, uh, who have uh, at these Epson printers, I know three people on the East coast who hopefully they're going to be going back to it, but do, do corporate events mm -hmm. and they bring the printer there and they set up. So, uh, Hey, we said you need the proper environment. You can take an Epson F2100 out of its environment take it to a, a, an art fair or take it to the racetrack or take it here, take it there, print shirts right there in front of people. And people love to see this. Um, uh, yeah. and, and you can do that with this printer. You can't do that with all direct to garment printers. Uh, so if, if that's your plan, make sure you find out no matter what machine you buy, if it is first easily movable and, and if you move it, are you going to have issues uh, you know, in, in an environment there, there are machines on the market, Jay, that you well know that have to have a humidifier underneath them running all the time. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that at the racetrack, Correct. you know, <laughs> so. not, very, not very well. And, and there are other printers that, you know, that can't be moved. So they, so literally exactly it's right. a disadvantage to growing your business because we're huge fans of on-site installations. It's one of the advantages of the F2100 is to be able to take that on site and, and, and let the magic happen. How many times, Terry, have we been printing in front of somebody who's never seen this technology who they just can't get over it? It's oh. like magic to them. When you and I uh, printed in the next level booth at South by Southwest a couple right. of years ago, right. it was, it was like, this is some kind of magic you guys right. are doing. <laughs> what what kind of voodoo is this? I have any, I have any, I remember the, the lady said, I have an inkjet printer at home and I can't do this. <laughs> you guys must be witches. <laughs> We're not witches. Thank goodness. Harry Combs and Jay Basel, we are professionals. Uh, at least you are, and I pretend to be, but um, Terry, let's get, we're closing in on, on the, on the victory point and on the wrapping this thing up. I want, I want to kind of see if you can tell me a little bit more about, um, when we think about planning to print, planning ahead, 
you, you hear this, this comes up and this is one of those questions that we would bring up is, well, are you planning to run the printer every day, right? That's one of the questions you typically will ask somebody. Uh, absolutely, especially if, if with a startup. And, and when we do trade shows, we talk to lots of startup businesses. And, and uh, a lot of times they'll say, well, I've got a full-time job. And so I'm going to be printing on Saturdays and Sundays, maybe one or two nights during the week. And, mm -hmm. and, and we'll point out, I'll point out and say, well, this is actually the best printer for that because you can turn this printer off for two weeks, come back and turn it back on and start printing again. Uh, there are printers out there in the marketplace that have to be running 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Spit, spit, spit ink to keep that print head open. Uh, Epson bills, the, the print head for these uh, DTG printers from the ground up as a DTG print head, which means it accepts the ink uh, for, for DTG printing. A lot of these printers, the print heads are made for other purposes. Mm -hmm. So they've got to keep like, like hocus pocus, speaking of which is like, like wet capping stations. W what is that really? What That's a that? pool of cleaning solution that you have to put your print head in. And so it won't clog. <laughs> so you know, uh, there, there are a lot of things that you that you hear at trade shows that and, and most people are straightforward with you, at least with the information that they have. But, uh, you know, I, I had a customer say to me, well, XYZ company told me that I could I could load a 72 DPI file and and the printer will fix it. And I said, did you really believe that? <laughs> and he said, I wanted to believe it. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all he now he's now the happy owner of an f2100 well and, and using 300 dpi files <laughs> because he was well he was he you you set the proper expectations terry combs the <laughs> the uh the expert dtg man so you know listen we, we've covered a lot of great ground here and i don't know when our viewers will be seeing this because we are going to post this on youtube so six months from now somebody could be watching this um but i have to ask terry in wrapping up so what's the price of the printer <laughs> <laughs> oh you started with that and i haven't answered it yet and we're 23 well, you, minutes in <laughs> you started with it you, you you danced by it but the truth is right now in today's terms we're this is the end of july 2021 and and it, like i said you're gonna have to check back because maybe you could talk about that because people well, think like you terry combs you're setting the price of this printer yeah, it, the, the price right now in, in July is $14,995 and Epson's giving you 20 liters of, of um, pre-treat as well. But at the end of each month, we get a notification from Epson what the price is going to be in the coming month. And, it, and here we are, uh, July 28th, and we don't know for certain. Now, we don't expect the price to change. And it's, it's not like they change it regularly, but, but we don't know until, um, you know, right before August 1st. What, what that price will be. An entire package, and, and we were talking about this before, what else right. do I need? Right. Uh, a printer, the Speedtreater TX pre-treat machine, a Geonite heat press, some startup supplies, you're, you're gonna be in about the $20,000 range. And, and that's, that's a package where you can have a business. That's a package where, yes, you can eventually quit that day job and, and make a living printing with your Epson F2100 package. Excellent. Well, I love that stance and, and us taking that position of, we wanna, see, we wanna see this new business or existing business have success as soon as is possible and have all the tools, the right tools in their toolbox and not be misled with misinformation and have those seeds of doubt because we've both been there. We know the fear that you feel when you make a major investment like this and then you're like, oh, did I make the wrong decision or, oh, I wish I would have known and then fill in the blank. So we try right. to really fill in all those blanks and also the support after the sale, Terry, you're available. Our tech team is available. So if you do stumble across a surprise, um, we're interested in you growing your business and we want to keep you. Our, our ulterior motive, we're pretty clear. We're pretty transparent. We want you to be successful so that we have the opportunity to grow with you and continue to earn your business in the future. Right? Exactly right. Exactly right. Exactly. Well, let's wrap up and let's end on that. So the thing to think about is um, if people want to reach you, Terry Combs, or any of our sales reps, why don't, why don't, we, why don't we talk about that? How can they reach us? Well, you can uh, call the uh, office 800-408-0040. Uh, you can reach 
uh, on any of the sales reps, you can, uh, you can go to sales at equipmentzone.com. You can go to our website, equipmentzone.com and uh, uh, reach out to us and we will get back to you as quick as we can and uh, answer any questions you have. And, and, you know, some people, uh, Jay will come and say, I'm, I'm so embarrassed to ask so many questions. Uh, we're, we want you to ask every question that comes to your mind because we want you to feel comfortable with your purchase. Absolutely. So here's that information for those of you. Terry, thank you for sharing that. I'll just flash this up on the screen. Also make it a little bit easier as we conclude. Um, I also would invite those of you who are watching, if you have not done so already, please, you can go and watch our, uh, our other uh, uh, training webinars and marketing webinars. And we've done a lot of you know, great content over the course of the last 18 months, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and, and you can go watch some of that content at your leisure. But this is the place where folks can get to know us. You can email Terry, you can email Jeff, you can email Amy. Um, and then uh, you probably don't need to email me, um, but if I can help direct you to someone, I will be uh, very happy to do so. So with that, Terry, we have concluded the first Ask the DTG Expert. Thank you for being our special special guest. I'm excited about the next Ask the DTG Expert, which is going to be all about what, Terry? It's going to be uh, about um, do, I can't remember <laughs> how you phrased it. <laughs> I put, I caught you on the spot. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I, I, I closed my notes, Jay. Well, we're going to be talking about training. Like a lot of folks want to know about the training, the installation process. Once I buy the printer, now what? Kind of a kind of a moment. Yeah. So I, uh, I I couldn't remember the title you gave it. So <laughs> that, that's all right. I, I put you on the spot at the last minute and threw you a curveball, but you handled it well. It was with grace, no sweat. <laughs> all right, so we're signing off for now. Until next time, uh, be safe and uh, go print some T-shirts. All right, bye everybody.